even though you are a really good driver, I can almost guarantee you, you're not the best driver that's behind this wheel of this car. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode. I'm Gaston Rosato. This is season six, episode five. And I'm Renzo Rosato. And today we're looking at the 1986 Alfa Romeo Spider with the graduate trim. But more than looking at the car, we're looking at why this car right here was just destined for stardom, right? It has a very unique history. We'll be going through the storytelling, basically, of how this car came to be in our hands and who had it before that and who had it before that <laughs> is probably the most famous alpha spider in the world right now. <laughs> so let's dig in and let's start talking about it. But as always guys, hit that subscribe button for us. And before we get into the story, let's enjoy a little bit. Let's take it off for a spin. Let's go for a drive. Let's do it. I think what makes our channel very unique is the fact that we actually have cars, that we can drive the cars, that we can share our experience. I can't help but think, you know, who was previously sitting here. I know. Just like I am right now. This car, you drive around town, it's so under the radar, no one's really gonna look at you. Uh, but the history behind this But if this they only car, knew, if they only knew exactly. who sat here right where <laughs> I am. You know, I get this little whiff of uh, like a, a meat. Raw meat. Raw meat. <laughs> it's kind of strange. <laughs> You'll see what we're talking about, guys. But the car is beautiful. It's a, uh, it's an enjoyable car. Inexpensive, it's an enjoyable car. It's fun to drive. It's, it's a sports car after all. Five-speed tranny, four wheel disc brakes. A two-liter twin cam. Can't go wrong with an Alpha Spider. It's really a lovely car. Even though you are a really good driver, I can almost guarantee you, you're not the best driver that's behind this wheel of this car. <laughs> I do feel like a very insignificant driver right now. <laughs> that is for sure. All right, Renzo. That was a good drive. The car got me inspired, <laughs> drinking some espresso right now. I always say, right, cars are like just a snapshot. Uh, they're, they're a piece of history. Right. Their materials, their colors, their design, their technology. It's just a snapshot of a certain time in, in, in space, if you will. Right. But consequently, that brings stories and every car has a story and unfortunately we can't always know what that is for every car but in this particular car we want to really share that yeah and we have that story and we have it pretty well documented so there's no oh is it really that car yeah um and i think we should start off with the owner right before us who we bought it from right right um, and that's and that's i'm gonna just say it because i'm excited <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. It's no it's no other than Ex Formula One driver, right? Eddie Irvine, very famous for racing in Ferrari Scuderia. Exactly. Alongside the greatest Michael Schumacher, it's a time in Ferrari's history where they've won just all the championships. I mean, this guy is not only an F1 legend but a Ferrari god. You know what I mean? Exactly. And and you say, wow, he owned a little Alpha Spider. That's what I love about it. I think most, it, you know. Eddie Irvine, a guy who raced from 93 to 2002, had a very successful career. I think it was in 99, came in second in, in the driver's championship. Um, driving the F1 cars when they were complete animals, I think. Yeah, it was the glory days of F1. The glory sure. days of F1. It, not saying that today's cars aren't complete animals, but it's just a different, you know. It's a different, it's a different the thing, absolutely. So knowing that he, he you know, owned this car, 
Uh, such a yeah. simple, classic, but yeah. enjoyable car is, is really cool. Well, how does that come to be? Uh -huh. Let's share that a little bit, right? So Eddie is a true jet setter. He's all over the world. He's, he's fixed mostly in the Bahamas, but he has a place here in Miami and Europe, and he's back and forth in those three locations most of the time besides everywhere else in the world. Right. He was referred to us by a good friend. Because he's always traveling, he had to have his car stored somewhere. A recently purchased Porsche 930. Beautiful blue car. Gorgeous car. <laughs> he had it stored here with us. And he had just returned from Europe to you know, staying in Miami for a few days. He, and he hadn't seen the car in a while, so he wanted to see it. He came by and we started talking. And he says, hey, you know what? I got a little Alpha Spider. Would you be interested in uh, buying the car? Right. I said, yeah, that'd be really cool. He says, yeah, as a matter of fact, I bought it from Lady Gaga. And he goes, that would be a great selling point. <laughs> and I told him, Eddie, I think the selling point here is the fact that you own the car more than Lady Gaga owned the car. He never really saw it that way, but I said, yeah, that's going to be the selling point. I would think that maybe most of our subscribers are more excited about the Eddie Irvine part than the Lady Gaga, but who knows? I'm sure there's some Lady Gaga fans out there. There's nothing wrong with it. That's, that's what's <laughs> cool about it. So, you know, how did he buy it from Lady Gaga? Exactly. Well, he knows a, a broker out in L.A. who we don't know how he got a hold of the car after Lady Gaga. So he essentially wanted to sell it. Right. But as soon as that happened, he called Eddie. Eddie said, hey, I think it's a great little car to have here in Miami. Drive around Miami Beach, top down, something simple, something small, something cool. And, and he bought the car. And he bought the car, uh, didn't use it much because, of course, he's traveling all yeah, the time. Yeah, he's not a... And it's taking space in the garage. He said, hey, let's, let's sell the car. So yeah. then he offered it to us first. We're very grateful for that. Uh, the car was featured in the Road and Track uh, article. We're going to put that link down below for you guys. And so, what, which is, my next question is, how do we know that Lady Gaga actually owned the car before Eddie? Because, right. like you mentioned, he did buy it from a broker. And he didn't buy it directly from right. Her. So stories are always great. Stories are always right. great, but you have to authenticate the stories. So right. we we did our due diligence in making sure that this was in fact Lady Gaga's car first. Right. Uh, and we have a, a title. We had a title, a copy of a title from California with Lady Gaga's uh, corporation. Co corporation, which is uh, I believe it's Mermaid Music LLC. And and we got the doc the documents of right. incorporation verifying that that did in fact trace back to Lady Gaga. Right. The insurance card is actually still in the car of, <laughs> of uh, the mermaid music. So that, that's already a big indicator yeah, yeah. that that's the car. And I think the next big indicator that we had was this photo that you're going to see here now. Um, and you look, if you pay attention on the trim of where the, the alpha symbol is, there's a white trim and that white trim has been cracked off in a certain perch. It's missing portion, a small little piece. A little piece of there. Um, and it matches directly with a photo of Lady Gaga in the car. Yeah, some paparazzi pictures yeah, that are yeah, pretty cool. That are pretty out there. So, you know, we were told that Eddie tried to get the car signed, if I'm not mistaken, by Lady Gaga herself. Yeah. Um, and apparently she wasn't too uh, into that idea because it reminded her of a moment. Well, here's the thing. Eddie has a bunch of rental right. properties here in Miami. Right, there you go. Lady Gaga just happened to rent one of his houses, yes. and he says, what an opportunity to get the car signed. Well, that backfired on him. Apparently, there's a there's a uh, ex-boyfriend situation that ties in with this particular car, right. and she wants nothing to do with a car. So I'm going to say, I think this car might have inspired bad romance. Gaga, ooh la la. Maybe not. Who knows? We'll never know. Maybe but. Lady Gaga can confirm that for us. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a fascinating car. It is. Just a unique history. Something you just can't duplicate. You know, I asked Eddie if he could sign the car for us. And there you go. We have Eddie here signing the car for us. He was an extremely cool guy about it. Um, we, yeah. we took a picture with him. Uh, I think in my personal take, I'm more excited that the car had been driven by an ex F1 one. driver, especially for Ferrari. I know. But you know what I love about it most? That's an affordable car. It is. You're exactly. buying something affordable, something Italian, something with Paninfarina design, something that such a cool story to tell, and it's not breaking the bank. It's exactly. the perfect entry level 
enthusiast car. Yeah, and, and and the trim model again is called the the graduate. The graduate. So and that goes back to to the the movie, the graduate. Right. Um, so it's a car that was celebrity is all over the place. <laughs> it's, it's a car that's made for that, right? Um, and I think that's uh, I think that's a good point. It's an affordable car with an extremely cool history. Yeah. You know, yeah, you can yeah. you can have this in your garage and you can bring people and say, hey, look, see this car here, Lady Gaga and Eddie Irvine themselves. And it's autographed. Right. And there's paparazzi pictures. Yeah. And there's copy of the title. I mean, there's no question. And we yeah. documented that well with with media features and and we're trying to do that more now, even with this video. Exactly. So. Just getting behind the wheel of that car gets me really excited, which actually I think maybe we should give me the chance to go ahead and drive drive this car. You could drive that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> So if you've been following our channel for quite some time now, you're going to realize that we're in a space that you haven't seen in any other previous episode. Right. And that's because we have a new, same facility, new space. We like to call it the lounge. And I think it maybe we can uh, maybe show you guys around in a different video, letting you guys know the work that we've done here and what we've created. If you guys would like to see that, let us know. Um, yeah, drop a comment. For that, if you want to see that episode or any other kind of content that we could possibly share with you guys right. that you think is interesting, let's let's uh, spice it up the channel, if you yeah, will. Exactly. We definitely love to hear you guys' opinion, and and we thank you for joining us on this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the story behind this Alpha. Um, you know, it's uh, something that I think could bring a lot of happiness to somebody if they have this car sitting in their garage. Absolutely, guys. So thank you for watching. Please, before we go. Hit that subscribe button. We would really, really appreciate it. Right. And uh, till next week. Till next week. I'm Renzo Rosato. And I'm Gaston Rosato. Peace, Peace out. out.